we must ask Master Gotama about the thing most helpful for the final arrival at truth. Striving is most helpful for the final arrival at truth, student, because if one does not strive, one will not finally arrive at truth. But because one strives, one does finally arrive at truth. And that is why striving is most helpful for the final arrival at truth. But what, Master Gotama, is the most helpful for the striving? We asked Master Gotama about the, most, the thing most helpful for striving. Thorough inspection is most helpful for striving student. If one does not thoroughly inspect, one will not strive. But because one thoroughly inspects, one strives. That is why thorough inspection is most helpful for striving. But what, Master Gotama, is most helpful for thorough inspection? We ask Master Gotama about the thing most helpful for thorough inspection. Application of mindfulness is most helpful for thorough inspection of the Dhamma student. If one does not apply one's mindfulness, one will not thoroughly inspect the Dharma. But because one applies one's mindfulness, one thoroughly inspects the Dharma. This is why application of mindfulness is most helpful for thorough inspection. But what, Master Gotama, is most helpful for application of mindfulness? We ask Master Gotama, about the thing most helpful for application of mindfulness. Enthusiasm is the most helpful for application of mindfulness student. If one does not arouse enthusiasm, one will not apply one's mindfulness, but because one arouses enthusiasm, one applies one's mindfulness. And that is why enthusiasm is most helpful for the application of mindfulness. But what, Master Gotama, is most helpful for enthusiasm? We ask you about what's the most helpful for enthusiasm. A reflective acceptance of the teachings is most helpful for enthusiasm student. If one does not gain a reflective acceptance of the teachings, Enthusiasm will not spring up, but because one gains a reflective acceptance of the teachings, enthusiasm springs up. That is why a reflective acceptance of the teachings is most helpful for enthusiasm. But what, Master Gotama, is most helpful for a reflective acceptance of the teachings? We ask Master Gotama about the thing most helpful for a reflective acceptance of the teachings. Detailed study, scrutiny of the meaning is most helpful for a reflective acceptance of the teachings, student. If one does not do a detailed study of their meaning, one will not gain a reflective acceptance of these teachings. But because one does a detailed study of their meaning, one gains a reflective acceptance of the teachings. That is why detailed study of the meaning is most helpful for the reflective acceptance of the teaching. But what, Master Gotama, is most helpful for detailed study of the meaning? We ask Master Gotama what is the most helpful thing for detailed study of meaning. Memorizing the teachings is most helpful for the detailed studying of the meaning, student. If one does not memorize a teaching, one will not do a detailed study of its meaning. But because one memorizes a teaching, 
one does a detailed study of its meaning. But what Master Gautama is most helpful for memorizing the teachings? We ask Master Gautama about the thing most helpful for memorizing the teachings. Hearing the Dhamma repeatedly is most helpful for memorizing the teachings. That means hearing suttas repeatedly over and over again. Someone said, but don't, I've heard that sutta. Well, I've heard that sutta hundreds of times and still I might sit there and listen to Bhante teach it and all of a sudden have a great realization pop up. It didn't come up before, but all of a sudden it happens after a hundred times. They sink in. It's not just that they think sink into you, it's that as you're practicing and you're advancing, the beginner doesn't hear what the middle level student hears and the advanced student hears more than the middle level student. You never get over listening to the suttas. If one does not hear this Dhamma repeatedly, one will not memorize the teachings, but because he hears the Dhamma repeatedly, suddenly he memorizes the teachings. And that is why hearing the Dhamma is most helpful for memorizing the teachings. But what Master Gotama is most helpful for hearing the Dhamma? We ask Master Gotama about the thing most helpful for hearing the Dhamma. Giving ear intently is most helpful for hearing the Dhamma student. If one does not give ear intently, one will not hear the Dhamma. But because you give ear intently, one hears the Dhamma. That is why giving ear intently is most helpful for hearing the Dhamma. But what, Master Gotama, is most helpful for giving ear intently? We ask Master Gotama about the thing most helpful for giving ear intently. <clears throat> Paying respect to a teacher or a monk is most helpful for giving ear intently. If one does not pay respect to the teacher or monk, one will not give ear intently. But because we pay respect to the teacher or monk, one gives the ear intently. And that is why paying respect to the teacher is most helpful for giving ear intently. And what Master Gotam is most helpful for paying respect to the teacher or monk? We ask you what is the most helpful thing for paying respect to the teacher monk? Visiting the teacher monk is most helpful for paying respect student. If one does not visit the teacher, one will not pay respect to him. But because one visits the teacher, one pays respect to him. And that is why visiting is most helpful for paying respect. And what Master Gotama is most helpful for visiting a teacher monk? We ask Master Gotama about the thing that is most helpful for visiting a teacher. Faith is the most helpful for visiting a student. If faith in a teacher does not arise, then one will not visit him. But because faith in the teacher arises, one visits them. That is why faith is the most helpful for visiting a teacher. <clears throat> 